my series of choice is Orange is the New Black. This comedy drama series aired from July 11, 2013 to July 26, 2019 and is based on the book Orange is the New Black, chronicling my year in a federal women's prison, written by Piper Kerman. Awards won by the series include Best TV Series, Best Comedy Series, TV Show of the Year, Favorite Online Series, and Best Long Form TV Editing. This shows the lives of the inmates in Letchfield Prison, which is divided into groups. Here we have Latinas, African American, Asian, elderly, white, and religious. Now, the next six sections will be about the main characters in my opinion. So, we have Paper Chapman. The first character is the, the protagonist. She led a quiet and well-to-do life until she is imprisoned for using money that came from drug trafficking. In prison, she changes completely. She must learn to survive and at the same time, she realizes that her fiancé cheats on her with her best friend and she becomes pregnant. She must also deal with her ex-partner as she enters the same prison, being the one to blame for Piper's incarceration. Suzanne Warren, known in prison as Crazy Eyes, as a child she was adopted and as she grew up the other children denigrated her because of her skin color. She was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, which had her always struggling to control her impulses. She was imprisoned for unintentionally murdering a minor when they were both children. In prison, she surrounds herself with her group of friends who are always by her side to help her with her fits of anger. Galina Resnikov or Red One of the strong characters that mark the series, Russian, immovable character, worried about those close to her and guilty of organized crime. She has a strong bond with certain inmates whom she protects above all things. Among her protected are Norma, Nikki, Lorna, Gina, Piper and Alex. His character development is as strong as his character. However, over the seasons he develops Alzheimer's disease so the ending of her character is quite sad. As she is included in the group of prisoners suffering from mental illness. Aleida Diaz, convict for heroin production, mother of Dayanara, who is also in prison, and mother of other four, four children. Inside the prison, she is one of the leaders of the Latina group. Together with her best friend inside, Gloria, she tries to make it through the time they have left. When she is finally released, she is locked up again for hitting the car of her youngest daughter's boyfriend. When he returns to prison, she is confronted by Dayanara, who has taken on the role of leader of the group.
Sophia Wurzut. She is the main hairdresser at the penitentiary. A transgender woman who is imprisoned for stealing credit cards to pay for her operations, and when her son does not like her decision to change her sex, she is denounced by him. In the end, she is released for good behavior and opens her own hairdressing salon, being quite successful. On his way out, he finds out that his ex-wife married the reverend of the church they both went to. However, Sophia is happy about this and wishes them luck. Tatcha Jefferson or Tasty One of the most beloved characters within the series, with a hard childhood, since when entering to this, her parents abandoned her as they didn't have the resources to raise her. She enters the world of selling drugs in adolescence meeting B, a woman who would be a fundamental pillar in her life and who would later enter the same prison. In Litchfield, she has a group of friends made up of Posse, Crazy Eyes, Cindy, and Watson. Her dream inside the prison is to help her fellow inmates become interested in reading so that when they get out, they can find a job. Conclusion Each inmate has her own story, some more tragic than others, but all equally moving. At the end of the series, it is impossible not to get emotional after so many episodes and season watch it. An interesting fact is that in real life, a foundation called Posse Washington was created in honor of a character who dies in the series. This foundation supports organizations that specialize in migration and the low employability that inmates have after leaving prison. A series worth watching again, as it will always thrill you as it did the first time.